This is a Dell 2005 FPW. This is usually caused by two capacitors on the logic board. It's the 470 microfarad capacitors that fail. The 16 volt ones should be changed out and put in 25 volt ones. This is what I intend on doing and I will show you the results shortly. Okay, we got the cover off the Dell 2005 FPW and now we've got to remove the uh, ribbon connector for the uh, front bezel controls. Now to get, the, to get that connector off there's a little tab right here which you just have to lift up with your fingernail. Just lift that. See how it just flicks up right there? Right here. Little tab just flicks up. And you can easily you can easily pull the ribbon out. Ribbon easily comes out. Now to disassemble the monitor further, there are four screws. One here, one here, and there are two on the opposite sides. This panel does not have this panel does not have to come off. The opposite side where the monitor control is, you just this little tab just lifts off. The other two fastening screws are here and here. Note where the wires go. They just pull out. There's nothing special. Just hook your fingernail on them and pull them out. And don't mix them up. That's all there is to that. Now slide the panel, once you've got all the screws out, slide the panel back and remove the connector for the monitor. Just two little tabs on there. Just push the tabs in. And uh, Gently remove the connector. Now you can take your and flip that over. To reveal the power board and the logic board. And it's these two capacitors here. It's this one and this one that we're going to replace. They're the ones that give you the they're the ones that give you the problems here. We'll zoom in on a little bit closer here. So again, it's this one and this one. They're both 470 microfarads, 16 volts, and we will replace them with 25 volt 470 microfarad. Okay, we've got the logic board out now, and from past experience, it's these, this capacitor and this capacitor. And then a number on the capacitor, as you can see, is 16 volt 470. And we are going to replace those with a 25 volt 470 microfarad. And there's the new capacitor. The Rubicon I've had very good uh, luck with. 25 volt 470. And these there's a positive and a negative to these capacitors. So you've got a 
put them in the right way around on the board or if you put them in backwards they could the tops could explode on them so know which way you take the old ones out the board is marked this little white patch on the board here is the negative side of the capacitor here there and they've got to go in the same way which one you want to replace so all the boards are marked there's a little number beside the capacitor here that number is also stamped on the back side of the board so you can uh, locate the capacitor because you don't want to be heating up something that you don't have to on the back you could you could damage the piece so flip the board over these are your capacitor studs here the ones we want to replace are that one which is this one here this one and this one and to remove those you just take a soldering gun and you heat up those little terminals and you just wiggle the capacitor back and forth to remove you heat the bottom up you just take it and wiggle it back and forth and eventually it'll pop out okay the old capacitors have been removed and the new ones that we're going to install you line up the negative side here the white stripe with the white on the board you just push them through the hole and then clip off the excess and solder them on okay the new capacitors are installed again double check that they're installed correctly the negative side is lined up with the negative side and you can trim the excess off the capacitor prior to soldering okay the new capacitors are soldered in just double check your solder job on the back there make sure that the, the capacitors are tight that there's no movement These solder joints all look good, nice and tight. Okay, I just fired up the uh, computer after we installed, and the flickering is gone. From two small capacitors. these two small capacitors was causing all the grief